This is a really dark story. difficult story. So she thinks that the guys are kind of em emblematic of a male-dominated tech industry, so that's why she does it. And then all these men are like, you know, this is feminism out of control, so let's let's kill this cunt. Right. Everybody fucking thinks they're punching up, and it's just a cunt. Oh my god! Look at what we did to you. Actually, that's not true. Nobody said that to her. People said, oh, my God, look at what those people did to you. Sure. That they weren't the fuckers yeah, who were doing yeah. it in the first not place. Not me. I wasn't even home that night. <laughs> right. <laughs> Reads every tweet. Every tweet snakes its way into her. You know, believes everything that people are saying about her. pretty much every child who comes to her now damaged is damaged as a result of something that happened on social media I mean it's like it's so profoundly agonising to be at the end of that and yet if you ask us like because the snowflake doesn't need to feel responsible for the avalanche you ask us we say, I'm sure she's fine or are oh, the sociopath so we, we, we dehumanise them all of this is to make us feel better about our fear that we've just destroyed somebody so we either just assume they're fine, or we give them a dehumanizing word. 